more information from the framework about gender transitioning. They want you to go and use PBS uh, material that will help kids understand um, puberty and transitioning. P PBS, you think it's a reliable resource. Well, maybe not. Um, also, if the topic of masturbation comes up, use this as an opportunity to discuss gender, gender roles, and gender expression. I'm not really sure what those two have in common, but you know what? Um, they're gonna welcome that conversation, they're gonna encourage it, and then they're gonna tell children that there's nothing wrong with it, it's perfectly healthy, everybody does it, and you shouldn't be concerned about it. More information. Again, we're talking about nine to 11 year olds here. We have to affirm diverse sexual orientations and also include uh, the harm of negative gender stereotypes for seventh through 12th graders. Maybe kids are not monogamous at this stage in their lives, so maybe you should use the words partner. Hmm, 12 year olds. Students might also um, be instructed about spiritual abuse. This is so dangerous. So what happens if in your household you believe a biological boy is a boy and a biological girl is a girl? Are you going to be accused of having a harmful negative gender stereotype? And are you going to be accused of spiritual abuse? Are your children gonna be removed from their homes? I mean, this is, where's the state of California going with this?